Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add rotating apps to your iPhone home screen. So in order to do it, it's actually pretty easy. So let's just immediately jump into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the app store and what we're going to do is we're going to type in quick, just like this, type in quick because this is the widget app we're actually going to use. Now simply click on download and wait till it's downloaded. It's quite a big app, so this could take a little bit of time and make sure you have enough storage, which you can check right here. I, like I said, it's a pretty big app. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into general, iPhone storage, and you wanna make sure that you have enough gigabytes uh, in storage. Then we can simply check and we can see that it's now downloaded. So it shouldn't take long till it's completely finished. I will check back with you guys once it's finished. All right, so Quick is now downloaded, and now what we can do is we can open the app. We can see right here that it's asking us a lot of things. So you're going to make sure that Ask App Not To Track is enabled, and you don't need notifications for the app. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the large section right here, and we're going to click on Add. Now we're going to find the circle icon, because we want our apps to rotate in a circle. So click on Circle Icon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our widget is transparent. So we're going to click right here and we're going to click on set. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure to click on set and you need to find your wallpaper you are currently using in order to make it transparent. So click on the wallpaper you are currently using and then we have it right here. My wallpaper is now set. So yeah, we are good to go. Now, what we can do is we can make sure that icon rotation is enabled and now we can simply click on save and we can watch a video to unlock the widget. So yes guys, you do need to watch an ad in order to unlock the widget, but after that it will be unlocked forever. So just click on watch the ad and I will see you guys once we uh, watch the ad in 30 seconds. All right, so we can now see that my ad has finished. All I need to do now is click in the top left corner of our screen to get our reward, which is in this case our widget. We can now see that our widget is added. It's called circle icon number one. So what we're now going to do is we're going to swipe up and we're going to go to a place where we want to place our widget, preferably where you don't have any apps. So for example, I have a nice area right here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus icon right here and we're going to make sure to click on quick right here. Now you're going to scroll till you find a large widget just like this and click on add widget. We can now see that the widget is added, but nothing is displaying yet. That's because we need to long press it and then click on edit widget. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on choose and you're going to click on circle icon number one. Then what you need to do is you need to enable this switch right here. Not sure why mine is in Chinese, but yours should just be in English. What you now can do is simply leave this and we can now see that my apps are rotating over on my home screen with a transparent background. And yes, you do see a little bit of an edge right here, but that's because my uh, wallpaper is not blurred. If you have a really dark wallpaper or just one color wallpaper or a really blurred wallpaper, then you don't see the edge and it's actually looking really, really cool. You can also click on, the, uh, click on any app in order to open it. So yeah, that's how you can add rotating apps to your home screen. If you learned something from this video, I would highly appreciate it if you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.